There are two kinds of astronauts. There are those who that's all they can ever remember from, from their childhood. But there's the other part of us who never dreamed of being an astronaut. My name is Charles Bolden. I go by Charlie. Uh, I'm the NASA administrator, and um, I'm a 1977 alum from uh, USC. I grew up in the segregated South. My mom was the librarian, and, and I was a library assistant. Uh, then my dad became my high school football coach. I tell people all the time I was blessed to have two men in my life who happened to be in the same body. You know, my dad was just, uh, he was, couldn't ask for a better dad. And then my, my football coach, father, um, just an incredible mentor when it came to, to leadership, um, putting demands on people, but, but always knowing just how far they could go uh, because he knew, he knew that he could always get much more out of us than we believe we could get out of ourselves. I enrolled at, at USC while I was a Marine Corps recruiter and officer selection officer. We always set up our little table right at the foot of Tommy Trojan, and it was there that I met some of the most phenomenal people, you know, on a college campus that I've ever met. In this program was uh, procurement and contracting management. Uh, and I spent many long nights in the USC Law Library. That was something I had no idea would be valuable to me later, but it turned out to be invaluable. A gentleman who was eventually to become my mentor and my inspiration and the, re the only reason I applied for the program, uh, the late great Dr. Ron McNair, who we lost on Challenger. Ron and I met, um, found out we had grown up 42 miles from each other in South Carolina, and he asked me if I was going to apply for the astronaut program. I told him no, and I said they never picked me, and he said, you know, that's the dumbest thing I ever heard. He, and he challenged me, he said, how do you know if you, if you don't apply? And my mom and dad, when I was growing up, had always told me you can do anything you want to do as long as you're willing to work really hard and steady to get there. And so I applied and was fortunate enough to be selected in the space program. If you ask me, will, will humans get to Mars? There's no question we'll get to Mars. Our goal is to put humans uh, you know, on Mars, at least in the Martian environment, in the 2030s. That's what the president asked us to do, and I think we can do that. We now have a successful commercial launch capability for carrying cargo to the International Space Station and other low Earth orbit destinations, and also put the finishing touches on determining the human body's ability to withstand a journey of that length. Uh, nuclear power and the like are probably where we're going to go one of these days, so I need for a lot of today's students to start thinking about that. Ways that humans can adapt to a hostile radiation environment, both en route to Mars and once they get to the, to the Martian surface. Engineering is much more than numbers and lines and you know, computers and stuff. A good engineer has the capability to engage in visualization and imagination. I think engineering has changed significantly from when I was at USC. In addition to being hands-on, it's much more uh, actually global engagement. You're considering a lot of things that have nothing to do with engineering whatsoever.